this video, I will be introducing you to the Task Weaver user interface that was just released by Microsoft. All right, so I have already made videos on the Task Weaver using both the fully local open source model and the open AI models. And I already have several videos on AI content. So if you've not subscribed to my channel, do hit the subscribe button for more content like this. All right, so just a brief recap. It is a code first agent framework that is used for planning and executing data analytics tasks. And it interprets the user's request through a coded snippet and coordinates a variety of plugins in the form of function to execute a data analytics task. All right, so I already have these videos on how you can set it up. So I'm gonna type the link so you can get that. All right, so let's get back to my PS code. All right, so this is from the GitHub and it shows you how you can easily set this user interface up. It really has a very easy step to do that. So I'm going to show you and walk you through that. All right, so let me get into my BS code. So I have already downloaded this. So you need to install the tax waiver. So this is a highlight or this is the steps that you can easily use to run the UI. So you first, let me show you, you can create an environment just like this one. So we just go to Python. Python dash M B M B E M B. And when you hit enter, it's going to create an environment just like this one. So I'm going to clean that. All right. So the next thing is you need to write gates. All right, I think I can do it here. So you can just copy this instructions, copy this and you paste it here. All right, so it's going to install this folder. I've already done that, so I'm gonna clean that up. And the next one is In directory to this so as you can see it's being directed to the tax weaver folder and the next thing we need to do is you install the requirement right so you do it you paste it here and you hit enter I've already installed it so I don't want to do it again okay so the next thing is you set up your API keys. All right, so when you want to do that, you go into your tax weaver and you look for projects. You click on projects and you can see, you can see the tax weaver config. So you set up the configuration. So you make sure you have your API base, the API key. So if you, so I'm using the GPT-4 preview. So you paste in your API key here, All right? Very easy step. So the next thing we want to do is we pip install chainlet. You copy this. Pip install chainlet and you pip install. I already installed that. Okay clean that up all right so I want to change my directory to the UI to the playground so as you can see this right here this is the playground so paste this and I hit enter and we are directed to the playground UI as you can see here all right so the next thing is Let's run the app and that's it. I'm gonna copy this. 
And I want to say, so make sure I save everything, save it. And I want to hit enter. And let's wait for it to open up the UI. And see, we have it open up. All right, so let's, so this is the chat. Read me, this is the chat. You want to change the settings you go here you can expand it you can hide chain of thought you can change the dark mode to light mode very easy and it's using channel okay with the ui so let me just test it out and say print the first five even numbers using Python and let's hit run let's wait for the response all right so the first five PB numbers are two four six eight ten and let's look at the terminal and you can see it's been printed out right here and let's look at the tax waiver. So this is the steps that it's using to, so this is the planner. And you see initial plan is generated and run the Python code to print the first five EV numbers. And you generate, so this is the plan. You generate run Python code to print five, five EV numbers. And the current plan step is to generate the Python code. So the planner to the code interpreter. So please generate and run the five EV numbers. So there's no code verification is performed, success. And the code interpreter to the planner. So the flowing Python code has been executed. Right, so this is the code that is using to print out. Wow, well, okay, this is great. And put all the result variable in the last. So it's using a range. Okay, so the so this is the final answer. The values of the variables of the above Python code. All right, so this is the final answer from the planner to the user. All right, guys, this is great. So let's check in the terminal and see um where you can find the so this is the workspace is where you can find your work whatever you are working on All right so let's see here okay so this is the workspace let's see okay so this is whatever we are working on you can see it here the planner you generate run python code to print the ev numbers so it's right it has every step of the code of the execution all right it has every step in here all right so the, if you want to find out whatever you are working on you go to the workspace you can see it there all right all right so this is what i wanted to show you guys how to set it up and run it. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.